Right. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bourne. Some very interesting insights there about how to engage and why you should engage with the uh, EPSRC. Uh, one thing I neglected to mention early on, if you want to ask any questions as we're going throughout this process today, please, uh, you'll probably see on your screen just to the left of me, uh, a, a chat box. Please put your questions in there. We'll pick those up and try to deal with them in a panel session a bit later on. So now I'd like to introduce our next speaker, give us kind of an industry perspective uh, in terms of creating value for economies. I'd like to introduce Joseph Spear, who's the Director of Comms and Marketing at Mvine. So over to you, Mr. Spear. Good morning. I'm Joseph Spear. Great to be here with you today at the Tommy Flowers Network Spring Conference to share a little bit about a recent project. Um, what I'll be sharing with you today really uh, dovetails nicely into the PGR topic on ideas and how they become innovation. Across the next 10 minutes or so, uh, I'll be sharing um, really about collaboration between industry and academia, really from the point of view of um, three main things. First is defining what a real problem looks like. Second is developing a solution to address that problem. And third, understanding the impact of the solution that you create. First, let me set the scene. In 2020, the UK government put £40 million on the table and invited UK innovators to bid for that money with a view to standing up new innovations to help with the nation's fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Mvine, the company that I work for, was one of those companies. There are around 800, 850 or so in total. We put our bid in and we won an award of around about £50,000. And that was based on the ability to answer a key problem. And the key problem was, how do you prove something about you is true, such as a test status or a vaccination status, without giving away your ID to somebody you don't know? In order to build this new innovation, Mvine partnered with another British technology company called iProve Limited. iProve Limited are specialists in facial biometrics. iProve's patented genuine presence assurance technology is able to show in the digital realm that it's the right person, a real person, right now. Having understood the problem, let's turn our attention now to consider the solution. I have three uh, short explainer videos which I'd like to play for you back to back, and I'll insert a little bit of music for you as well whilst you're watching.
So I hope those uh, short videos were useful in being able to explain the three main types of people, the data subject, the verifier and the challenger. Now let's take a quick look at what the impact of this innovation looks like. Having built the innovation, we then needed to trial the innovation in a number of different settings and sectors. Mvine applied for and won a further £25,000 of public money from Innovate UK under the project number 69401 extension for impact. In January and February 2021, Mvine wrote to every director of public health in England. There's 152 of them. Alongside this, we also perform some of our own activities uh, looking for introductions. And I'm very pleased to be able to confirm some really great collaboration and cooperation from the University at Lancaster. And in particular, I'd like to commend Richard Harding, a commercial programs manager, for his help in introducing us to a number of organizations who expressed an interest in running the trial for themselves. The last part of impact that I'd really like to share with you today is the press coverage that was generated. In fact, it changed the public discourse on the topic. News of our innovation spread quickly following the exclusive that was run in the Daily Telegraph on the 12th of January 2021. Mainstream medias here in the UK and beyond all ran stories about vaccination passports. We've been really pleased to have the opportunity to discuss our innovation and, uh, and brief industry bodies, analysts and think tanks about how our, how our solution works. Of course, we welcome scrutiny from any organization interested in upholding privacy, civil liberties, and data ethics. What makes our innovation so distinctive is its data ethics. Unlike any other solution currently available, our solution our innovation together with iProve captures, stores and processes no identity information about the data subject whatsoever. So in just 10 short minutes we've been able to cover not only the key problem but also a bit about the solution that we created and also looking and understanding the impact of that new innovation and how we go about getting that tested. So um, I'll be around for the panel session uh, in a short while. Uh, I'll be more than happy to take your questions and I'll do my very best to answer them as fully as possible. My thanks once again for the invitation to come and uh, share these things with you today here at uh, the Tommy Flowers Network Spring Conference. And uh, I'll see you in the panel session. Thanks very much for listening.